Hi, I'm Pete Ellahorst with Crown Plastics Company, and welcome to Make It Stick. This is a video series where using proper surface preparation and adhesive selection, we can take our DuraSurf UHMW and get it to adhere to virtually any type of substrate in many difficult to adhere to applications. I'm sure sometime over the course of your life you've been whitewater rafting or maybe have been to a water park and you've had the opportunity to sit in some of these big rafts and go down some of these great water slides. What a lot of people don't realize is how much abuse and abrasion a lot of these inner tubes and these rafts take over the course of their life cycle. What we're going to do with today's challenge is we're going to be bonding UHMW with our DuraSurf to a reinforced PVC. Now these are very difficult to adhere to substrates in the sense that a standard pressure sensitive system is not going to work in this application due to the extreme nature of the application in the environment with the high moisture and the constant uh, inflation deflation of the raft and the impact. So this is an application that was going to require something a little bit more rigorous. Check and see how we were able to solve this problem. What we have right now is an interesting challenge that was just handed to us. This is actually an inflatable raft from an amusement park ride. Now what we have here, the raft is made of a reinforced PVC. This is not unlike a raft you would see in whitewater rafting or any type of other type of amusement park ride. So you can imagine that these things do take a lot of abuse. Now what we have here, this actual ride is almost like a roller coaster where there's a steel plate uh, inserted right in the center of this. So as it's going uphill, a magnet actually pulls this raft uphill. It's, it's a thrill ride, it's very fast. And what they have put on the bottom here, this is actually a 40 mil UHMW with a 40 mil rubber backing that they have adhered using uh, like a contact cement onto the PVC. Now as you can see, the material has worn out pretty badly. This was just after one season. And especially in this front section here, uh, the PVC has actually been wearing through. So a couple of things that we're going to be doing as far as a strategy to how to approach this. You can see these outside sections, there really isn't any wear there. So I think what we're going to do is we're not going to really focus so much on this. We're going to take all this off, but what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the areas where we are seeing wear. And instead of going with a 40 mil UHMW with a 40 mil rubber backing, we're just going to go with a straight 80 mil UHMW, what we call treated for bonding. So the chair will be abraded, it will be flame etched, and then we're going to use a uh, type of adhesive that we'll explain to you in a little bit on how to get this to bond. Now you can see even with some of these areas here, the UHMW is wearing through. This black that you see here, this is the actual rubber that is starting to wear through. So uh, this, this, this piece does see quite a bit of abuse. I think what we're going to do is take about a three to four inch piece right in here. But then in this front section, we're actually going to do more complete coverage in this front area here to reduce some of the wear along the front of the boat. Well, welcome back to the Crown Plastics Maintenance Department. And as you can see, the raft has been completed. And again, what we use is a .093 UHMW. But what we did is we used a contact cement on this, and the adhesive was a, uh, a contact cement uh, supplied by an adhesive company called Clifton Adhesives. Uh, what we had to do was, was grind off the excess rubber that had been bonded on the side. And we just focused on the really high wear areas here. Uh, but one of the things that we did find was when we did bond the UHMW and let that uh, contact system cure, boy, this baby is really bonded. It is really a very, very secure bond. Again, just as a reminder, this was an application where a pressure-sensitive system would not be able to withstand the rigors of this environment. In addition, um, with the treated for bonding material, you are not going to be able to physically abrade this PVC film. So the only way that we were going to be able to get this particular application to work was to use a contact cement. All right, so here was a very difficult challenge that was handed to us, and again, we were able to make it stick. How were we able to do that? Well, number one, we had to select the correct UHMW, because again, this was a very difficult contour, and so we had to use a UHMW that was conformable to the contour of that raft. Number two, we had to use a treated for bonding UHMW product so we could use the contact cement, which was number three, 
in order to get at the bond to the reinforced PVC. Once again, we were handed a difficult challenge and we were able to make it stick. If you have an application that's very challenging, why don't you submit it to us at crownplastics.com and we will make it stick for you.